hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you some uh, really interesting plugins uh, very productive it can help you in different kind of situations and um, yeah that's so let's start with the first one and the first one is called visual styles and what it's actually doing it's uh, bringing the, those visual styles from here if you, cl you click on the uh, display settings you have the visual styles and you see all the shaded shaded with hidden edges and everything so instead of that you're gonna have to every time change between them you have to click and another click and back and forth so it's actually bringing them all the way here to the bottom as you can see here by the side so it's uh, extremely practical and it's easy and it's working really really good as you can see and I'm using it quite often and I'm sure you do as well. It's really nice to see the uh, models in different kind of situation, uh, especially if you want to check out uh, what's going on, how different parts intersect with each other. So um, it's good to have the ability to switch uh, quickly, you know, between different uh, visual styles. So uh, uh, don't worry, in the end, I'm going to put all the links to the different uh, plugins. So. Um, so, but now this is the, the first one and this is really, really one of my favorites. I'm using it every time I'm working. So let's move on to the next one. The next one, um, <clears throat> it's called, sorry, it's not this one, it's this one, Helix Generator. And this is exactly what it's doing. You create this kind of Helix. Uh, after you install it, I'm just gonna go back here uh, so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna find the plugin right here under the sketch and you're gonna go to the helix now you need a plan so it can be maybe a plan on an existing a uh, body or something like that or you can just choose from here uh, or any kind of planes that you want and then you can just here decide what how many revolution do you want and the, here this is the resolution that means actually how many points the more point it's gonna be you know like more round yes so you can see if I'm gonna decrease the point you see you can start to losing the shape and if I increase it and so the precision you know the circle it's much more much better so you have the ability to control it how many you want and obviously here you have the pitch and the radius and everything and that's it and you can use it in many different uh, ways and it's really nice and practical instead of actually uh, you know from here using the uh, the coil and it's much longer process and so you can use this one and yes and uh, not only that uh, i don't know if you noticed this is just a side note but there is this new feature now in a fusion and but i think maybe i'm going to talk about it in the end so um i'm going to show so this is about the helix this is how you're going to use it and i'm going to come back to it uh, after the uh, the next one so uh, yeah so go and download it and it's really really great uh, tool now let's go into the uh, next plugin and this is also a really really nice one this one called uh, edit param something like that and what it actually does you know when you're creating first you need to create you know you have your own uh, parameters the user parameters now uh, usually what is going to happen is uh, if you want to start you know doing some uh, work so you're gonna start here and then playing with it and but there is another way and with this plugin it actually bring you you know this uh, window here and like the other kind of windows and you can actually do all the changes from here so it's uh, kind of really comfortable to work with it's very practical so uh, if you have many many plugins so you're gonna have this window uh, on the side here and that's the only thing you're gonna see it's the name of the you know, the measurements and the measurement itself and you can start playing and do everything that you need to do so this is also a really really nice plugin and yes so let me just go back again to the helix 
what I want to show you, talk about, it's the uh, kind of a new feature in uh, Fusion. It's, let's just say for a second that I want to, um, I'm going to go to the uh, plan on angle here. <clears throat> I'm going to click OK. And let's just say I want to create my own um, thread. So uh, I'm gonna create some something here, okay? It's gonna look awful, but I just wanna prove a point. So uh, let's just see. Okay, let's say it's gonna be like this, and like this, and like this. Okay, so let's just say this is the firm of the, uh, the shape of the uh, thread that I want. I'm gonna finish. So what's gonna happen now? Uh, we're gonna use the uh, sweep. So this is our profile, and this is our path. Now, as you can see, it's twisting itself, and you, I'm sure you know that this effect here. Okay, it's twisting itself, but we don't want it to be twisted. So what they did actually. If I'm gonna go back to um, to what I did now, just a second. Let's see where it is right here. And let's just go and edit feature. Let's bring up the window. So what they did here, you see, you have the profile and we have the path, and so we have a you see different option here. And this is the third option. What we actually uh, need to, it's asking us to do is to create, to look for a surface, which is going to use, um, I was gonna say, I'm not, I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but as you can see here, for example, I chose the X, Z, and now you see it just doesn't have the twist anymore. Now it's just turning as I, uh, yeah, as you expect it to, to turn around, okay? So this is a really, really great feature. A lot of people talked about it before. And before that, I'm sure if you saw one of my videos regarding how to create your own threads, so I've been using the coil, I was using kind of a workaround how to create it. Um, and then we use, you know, both the path and the guide rail. But in this case, you don't have to, you just need to use some kind of a surface. Uh, let's just see if we're gonna choose a different surface, see what's gonna happen. Yeah, mishmash. Okay, so you need to choose the, the right one. And this is gonna be the XC. And you're just gonna have the, um, you know, the profile here. It's gonna turn all the way around like it should. So this is a really nice uh, feature they have added. And yeah, so this is just a side, uh, you know, uh, bonus I wanted to show you guys. And yes, so you have those three um, plugins, productive plugin, plugins, uh, download them, try them, and see if it's something that you can use. And yes, and this is it for now. If you have any questions, the usual, just, uh, you know, send me uh, in the co uh, in the comments, and I'm and I'm gonna add uh, all the links to those um, those plugins in the uh, uh, description area. And don't forget the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.